Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to assemble this Valentine's Day explosion box. It's a design space file that I've created. If you'd like to have it, please join my Facebook group, Carol's Cricut Crafts. There's a link in the description right under this video where you can go straight to my group. So let's get crafting! So this is all the pieces of the Valentine explosion box and yes it's a lot and you may want to add even more because I've embellished some I've done little embellishments for some of the panels but not all of them. Um, of course you're free to delete whatever you don't want to use and add whatever you do want to use. So I'll start from the top working down this is an optional little box for the inside. We'll put that together later. Let's move this. Um, this is your smallest layer, so your top layer. This is your middle layer. This is your primary layer, so this is what forms the box with all the embellishment on the inside. And this is the lid for it. Uh, I'm using my little quilting clips to hold my bow together as I glue it. Of course, the bow is optional. You're not obliged to use it. You can use a, an actual ribbon bow if you prefer, or hearts, or flowers, or whatever it is that you like to use. I just made this little glitter bow. I don't think you can see the glitter in the envelope in the envelope in the video but it's very cute so I'll just put this piece on now I'm just doing this so I can clip it and let it dry while we assemble the box just clip that on these little clips are amazing there we go you clip that on and let it hold and um, this is the piece that wraps around the bow to finish it. So I'll just set that aside for now. This is the lid for the box. So let's do that and get it out of the way. So you're just going to fold all the score lines. Same way that I always make a box and a lid. And if you're using any of the boxes that I've shared, you know exactly how to do this lid. There we go. So I fold on my score lines first because I find that it makes it a lot easier to add the pieces. So in the actual body of the box you'll have all these layers of black and there's one that's larger than the others. That is for your lid. You'll know that's the one that goes on your lid. It's just slightly larger because in order for the lid to fit nicely over the box, it needs to be, I always use um, one-tenth of an inch to put the lid on to give it a little place so that it goes on nicely and doesn't bend the box. So we'll just put that on here hopefully straight. There we go, that's the top. And I've made these little panels. And you can use them or not, it's up to you. If you want the lid to be just a solid color, you can go ahead and do that too. Totally up to you. Whoops, I want that straight. If we're gonna use it, we want it straight. And this one, I didn't make all the embellishments for the box because I didn't want the video to be too, too long. And of course, I want you to have a few to give you ideas, but also you should use what you like and embellish it however you like it to look. And please post pictures if you do make it post pictures in the group because I would love to see how it turns out. 
and it really helps you inspire others to give it a try also. Why is that one crooked? Hmm. That wasn't very good. Straighten that one out. There we go. And we'll take this one. I'm not being too, too careful about how much adhesive I'm using because I won't be gifting this box. It's just um, for a demo purpose. So you may want to use better adhesive or more adhesive, whatever you think. This is just a quick version for me to demo it for you. Everything fits on the 12 by 12 mats, but if you have 12 by 24 um, cardstock and mats, it makes the cuts go a little faster. If not, it fits on 12 by 12. So we're just going to, we put tape on these ends and we're just going to fold that in and line it up. There we go. And there's our lid. So that's our lid for the box. You can do it all in red or change the colors completely if you want to. That's totally up to you. So there's our lid. And that's for the main part of the box. I'm just going to see if I can move my camera a little. Shall we go this way? Yes. Maybe, because I tend to work right here, and then I realize afterwards that I'm off camera when I'm doing it. So there's our lid. Okay, so now I've separated all these layers by the, with their embellishments, and I did that just by referring to the images in the actual design space file, so you can go back and take a look after you cut and sort everything. I find it's the easiest way if it's all sorted. There we go. Let's get that to the side. And these are layers for the inside and the outside. Okay. So this is a little fun to, it's scored. The hearts are scored on the corners. It's a little fun to fold or a little tweaky to fold because of the hearts but we'll get it done okay let's see we're going to fo fold right along the length or width we'll fold this one we're not bothering with the hearts yet then we'll fold this one And we'll fold this one. Okay, so now we have it like this. And now what we need to do, this is going to be the outside. So what we need to do is to bring our hearts in. So you just do that by pushing it on the score line. And then press it down along the score line. So see how that fits? So we'll fold in, and it'll be to the side when it's closed. So just kind of push it together, and it will automatically fold along the score line. And then you just want to give it a good press along the score line so that it works really nice and smooth when you open it and close it. Okay, just push together and it will fold. Give it a good press. You can see the shape now. And the last one, push together. It will fold. 
and give it a good press. There we go. So when we close up the box, it will be like this. And our lid will go on top. Let's see how it fits. It's not finished yet, of course. It will stay together better once it's finished. And there's with our lid. So I've cut panels for the outside of the box that you can use or not. It's up to you. I will glue those on. I find the extra panels make the box sturdier. And on top of these panels, if you want to, if you're cutting them in black, you can add hearts or anything you want to dress it up and to give it more color. That's completely up to you. There we go, so let's add some panels. I included one in the middle, even though it's going to be covered, because um, it will give it more body. There it is, wondering where I put my tape gun. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little adhesive because as I mentioned, it's only my demo. I won't be gifting it. So we'll just center that up in the middle. These are all the exact same size, so you don't have to worry about whether you chose the right one or not. go add another I hope I don't run out of adhesive this week because in Montreal in Canada most of Canada I think I know Montreal and Ontario we are in shutdown this week so I won't be able to get any more I guess I could order from Amazon But if I need it right away, I won't be able to get it until the next day, I guess, with Prime. I should have put this one a little closer. I don't want to tear my cardstock, though. Let's see. Can I move it? Yes. Okay. Move that one a little closer to the score line. That's better. And the last one for the inside. There. There's our four panels. So I've cut hearts. I did mine in glitter cardstock that I want to put in the on the corners. Um, you want to be sure when you add these hearts, don't put them too close into the, in the corners so that you cover your score lines. You want to make sure you don't do that because that would make it more difficult to close the box. So these are also have a score line. You want to give them a good press. I really need to find my bone folder. Who knows where I put it. I found my actual um, manual scoreboard, but I don't know where I put the bone folder. So we want to put these in and make sure that you're clearing those score lines, like I mentioned, so that you don't have a problem folding. That's cute. Add another one. What do I have? I have a paintbrush. I can fold. I can use that. A little tape.
There we go. Isn't that cute? What do I have here? Oh, a little lint or glue or something. And I'll fold that one again. Just make sure you're not on your score line. And my last corner. Isn't that fun? I think it's really cute. And although they look complicated, they're really not. If you just go layer by layer and sort all your materials before, if you just kind of pile them up and grab from a pile, it'll be more difficult to assemble it. So let's see, we want that one folded again. I'm just pressing one more time to make sure they fold easily. Press this one. Press this one. That looks good. That works perfectly. These will lay flat when you have your next layers in so they won't interfere with closing the box. I have glitter around. Okay, that's that layer. I want to add layers to the outside, panels to the outside. Did I do five? I did four, only for the walls. I didn't cut one for the bottom. If you want one for the bottom, you can always add an extra one to the project. There we go. I always like to see how people do these when, when I share one. I like to see how they embellish it for their event or their occasion, I should say. There. You can just leave the outside one color if you want, like I mentioned before. Or you can embellish the outside any way you want to. Yeah. Okay. And that's the outside. Let's try it with the lid again. Did I push that in? I did. Whoops. There we go. Isn't that cute? I'm not going to decorate the outside of this one. I'm only going to add a little bow to it. But you can um, decorate the outside any way that you want to. Now we need to embellish the panels on the inside. Let me check our bow and make sure it's stuck. Looks good. So now I'm just going to wrap this piece around. Okay, I'm going to add a little adhesive. I put this bow in the file also in case you want it. Add some adhesive. I added a little too much, but that's okay. It's on the back. And we'll glue it down. Put my clips back and make sure they hold. And there we go. Okay, so what have I done for the inside? I've done these little pockets. So these are easy to do. Just fold the 
score lines. There's a little pocket. So I'm just going to add a little tape. You can add adhesive if you prefer. I'm just adding the tape like this to glue it to the panel. So the tape is on the good side and then fold it in. And we'll just glue it onto the panel. Try and center it up. There we go. And we have a little pocket. That's cute. So I've added these tags to the um, design space file. You can use them or not, whatever you prefer. Change them if you'd like. Everything in here is done with basic shapes or access or free images. There's nothing purchased in here. So as long as you have access, you should be fine. If there's anything that, like I find sometimes people will try a file and um, they don't have access and they, they see a cost to make the file. In that case, all you have to do is um, delete the image you're being charged for and replace it with something that you own if you don't want to purchase it. It doesn't stop you from making the project. And there's another little pocket and this little tag. We'll pop it in here. There we go. So we have that. And then I made these. So I used glitter paper. Um, because I cut all my white from one sheet from glitter but if you're when you're making it you can add a photo if you want just upload a photo to design space and cut it out in the shape and the size of the square you can do that I just made it blank because as I mentioned I'm not gifting it this is going to be um, We'll see about gluing this. I'm not a big fan of liquid glue. My art glitter glue is always clogged. I can never get it to run properly. So I'm just using this tacky glue that I have on hand. I'm not going to fuss too much with it as long as it stays in for now. That'll do fine. There we go. Just line that up. There. Whoops, I moved it. So as I mentioned, you can use uh, plain cardstock and add a poem or a photo or a little quote, anything you like like that to add it here. And I'm just going to use a bit of tape runner on it. Please do feel free to change the embellishments any way that you want to. I always enjoy seeing everyone's personal taste, personal take on a project, how they want to do it. We'll go add that one there and this one will go on this side so as you can see I only really did the tags and you can do the rest however you like it Eek. too much glue <laughs> that's me I always make a mess with liquid glue. That's why I have this old cutting mat on my table. And underneath it, I have a good one that I never use when I have glue around. I cover it up. There we go. Let's 
go. As you can see, it takes a while to assemble all this, so it's not something you want to make at the last minute. You want to give yourself time. It's a fun snow day project or rainy day project if you don't get snow where you are. Do I put that on quick it? A little bit. There. Okay, so that's all the embellishment I'm going to do on this layer. Of course, you will finish it however you like. But that's all I'm going to do on this layer. Um, you can add flowers, add, um, let's see, what do I have? I have some little gems. I have hearts, little flowers. Um, I have some tags. And butterflies I have little embellishments and butterflies and puff tape so just go through your treasures and find what you'd like to use to decorate I guess we could add something to the front of these pockets let's see what we have we have some little hearts okay we'll add a heart I should not do it upside down add that heart there and land this one here there we go I might there And that's our first layer. So now we're going to prepare our second layer, but we don't glue it in yet. We wait till it's completely done and then we can glue it in. So the black layer is my second layer. So it's very simple. You just have the score lines to fold. A lot easier to fold than this one. And you have your um, panels, two, I believe there's nine, four, six, eight, nine. So for the inside, we have one in the center, but on the outside of it, we only have the four sides because this is going to be glued down. So we'll start by adding those panels. Center it up. Come on. That looks close to center. That isn't really centered, is it? I will do it again. It's a little better. And do this one. The base of it is is simple. It's basic. The panels, I should say, or the layers. What makes it special is how you decorate it. Dress it up however you like. Add as much or as little as you want to. Delete whatever you want to and add whatever you want to. Or make it exactly how it is. That's totally up to you. Let's 
because that's not centered. Go again. That's better. That's the inside. We flip it over and we only have the four outside panels because when it's glued in, you're only going to see four sides. You're not going to see the bottom. And I just did plain panels for the outside, but of course, on those you can add poems, photos, pockets, whatever you desire. Make it as simple or as embellished as you like. This is all Cricut cardstock. It's 100 pound. It's amazing cardstock for doing boxes and cards and that because it has really good body to it. So once we attach this to the inside, it's going to be just like this on the inside. So we're going to add our decoration. I just did these little drop down cards They'll go in and then you open them up and see what's on the inside. I only did one little embellishment. You can add something else to it if you want to. And I added a little puff sticker to Mickey and Minnie. There we go. Okay, so this one will go here, and it's a little drop down, so be careful that you don't put adhesive on the wrong side. So I'm adding adhesive to the side where I put the sticker or the decoration. Boy, that tape is sticky. Okay, that looks centered. You can decorate the outside and this side if you want to. I think sometimes it's fun to add little handwritten notes to these. That's always cute. And this one says, you are loved. So we'll just add that. Make sure we put the adhesive on the right side. Center it. And there's that. So we have these little pockets. Or drop downs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and on this side, I just put plain tags with, um, I used white glitter cardstock. And of course, you can change and dress them up however you like. So I'm just going to do that. that and 
and this one. This is a long video, isn't it? And some adhesive on this one. up and that will be all the embellishment I'm adding to this one leaving it of course for you to dress up however you like and that's our center layer so now centering it up is a little tricky let's see we'll do it this way I'm going to add adhesive here. When you make yours, you'll want to put a good amount of adhesive. You don't want it to fall apart while you're, after you've gifted it. So let's see about centering it up. That looks good. There we go. So that's my second layer. And there's my second layer. So when you flip this open, see that is why I left mine blank. But I mentioned to you that you can decorate those outsides also. Make them personal. Add whatever you like. Okay, so now we have our last layer. So of course we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold our score lines. Simple enough. Hold your score lines. Then we're going to add our panels. We have one, two, I believe nine again, four, six eight nine so again I didn't make one for underneath because it's going to be glued into the box so we'll start adding those panels Oh my, I put that one in so crooked. <laughs> that looks straighter. That's better. And we'll put this one. You can even add a, a whole extra layer to this if you want to. Um, I like them with three layers. And a surprise in the middle. So in this case, we're going to do a little box in the middle that you can fill with chocolate or candy or a little gift. Somebody mentioned they like to use these to add gift cards. 
So you could actually add a pocket with a gift card in it if that's what you want to do. So now we'll do the outside. The outside will be just the walls of the box. Not the bottom. Do this one. Okay, and once again, the outside you would embellish however you like. And of course, you can change all the colors in this project. You don't have to do exactly what I did. I glued this one down already. That will go in here. Mine, once again, are just plain, but you can use it to add a poem or a photo, something that you like. A little sentiment whatever you prefer so get that in there that's kind of cute I like that one and I have one more to do here Oops. no that's backwards so this one goes on this way We'll see about adding some adhesive to this. Up there. It may be too much. <laughs> but that's okay. It dries clear anyway, so... It's not the end of the world. Okay. And I need to put this on the back. I'm going to do this quickly with my tape runner. Any excess adhesive doesn't matter anyway because it's going to be glued down on the inside panel. Or to my fingers because it's so sticky. Glue that down. There we go. And now we'll add some more adhesive. that one and on these I just added um, little print and cut photos you can of course replace them that's this one Oops, upside down. We don't want it upside down. And that one. And that's all I've done for this layer. I know you will dress it up beautifully when you make it. And once again, we want to put adhesive on the bottom. So we're going to do that. Same. 
get it centered. That looks good. That should be good. Yes. Okay, that's good. There we go. Okay, so that's our three layers. Push that back in. And I made an optional box for the inside. So let's see about that box. Let's see about this little box. So we're just going to fold the center score lines. That's that. And then we're just going to fold these little tabs on the sides where we use those to put the box together fold those we're just going to glue it like this and see it's not too too tall because you wanted to be able to put the lid on so you want to be careful with not making the center box too tall. But it's a cute size. There we go. Place your sides evenly. the bottom of the box that will sit in the center and we will make the lid did I go over on that yes there we go and we can make the lid again just folding around the center. And then fold your tabs. And I didn't make extra layers for this on the inside. You can embellish with ribbon or however you want to or keep it plain. Let me see a smaller runner it's not a very good tape runner well let's put the lid together. Just put 
the lid on. And that's your little center box. So we'll take some, once the box is in, it will take some fiddling to put it close, or to close it up. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess we could do it with tape runner. You might, when you do it at home, you might want to do it with glue so that the little box is more permanent. But I'll just do it with my tape runner. Let's see about lining it up. Centered. And your lid. There you go. Isn't that cute? So you have all your layers and of course those outsides of the layers you can decorate however you want and on these folders decorate your pockets however you like. And let's see about closing it up and adding the bow so you're going to want to fold those hearts in. It takes a few hands and we only have two so it takes a little bit of work. There you go. And done. Isn't that terrific? And we'll add the bow to the top. Or add ribbon, whatever you prefer to dress it up. And there it is. I popped the lid off. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll find it helpful to make your Valentine's Day explosion box. Please post pictures in the group if you do make one. I'd love to see how you do it. If you're not in my group, once again, you can find a link directly to my Facebook group in the description under this video where you can get this Design Space link. Thank you for watching.